Teaching it at Amber is really uh, something become a part of my daily life. It's just beautiful to see people learning from you. I have this student from Korea when he was asked me where I get my PhD, what university, of course, you know, she think I'd like to continue. I said, oh, I have no, I'm a high school guy. You know, all my, my, my experience become my degree. Left home early, early. I just, after finishing high school, travel a lot, playing a lot of different festivals. Coming to Canada in 1992, in a very bad time for Canada was a recession. You know, you struggle. It's not, it, was, it wasn't a romantic, you know, uh, to start like in Toronto. It's an absolute pleasure to sponsor this award, especially given that it recognizes outstanding artistic talent. It's directly aligned with Sun Life's commitment to the arts and to excellence. I know that um, you, you didn't start off in music right away when you came to Canada and you were busking on evenings and weekends to, to try to keep that passion alive. Yeah, I insist, you know what, music, art is the only thing I know. And I'm not gonna give up on it. And I decide like just to continue doing it. This is why I started playing in the subway, busking at Harbour Front. And I was reading that um, that's exactly how you came to, to, you know, be more renowned, I guess. You were busking and, and someone asked you to fill in, I fill forget. In. Yeah, it was yeah. happened to be this band didn't show up and yeah. this guy have a good vision and he saw us playing and he, he said, you know, it seemed like a great band, like, why don't you fill in? And it took off from there? And took off from there. A lot of people look today it as an African thing. No, it's an international crisis. And you know, and if I'm gonna do this, I have to include the rest of the world. I did, instead of English, I did it with 13 different languages and I documented, it takes me like two years to complete the whole project. And it was a great journey and was a great learning for me. My award to myself, just to see the whole thing complete and to see the impact and the, and, and the different mix this uh, documentary does for me. Waleed, like many other who are new to Canada, faced many challenges. They've had to work in different jobs, various jobs just to make ends meet, and in Waleed's case, busking on evenings and weekends to keep his music alive. <laughs> now he's an award-winning musician and is hailed as one of the most talented musicians working in Toronto. You want to see positive thing out of your work. Always do what you believe. Like don't give up on your goals. Like just go for it. You will if you really if you think you're good at what you're doing. Practice and be better every day, and just keep practicing and go for it. Now, I'm pleased to announce that the recipient of this year's new Pioneers Arts Award is Walid. Abdul Hamid.